penalty from about uh, 33 metres out. Barry Andrews, high in the air it goes. Look at it climb. It's a great kick. First bug to the Sharks. 2 0. This is a simpler kick for uh, Barry Andrews. He's almost in the middle of the field, only a few metres off centre, just outside the corner. High, towering kick again. Straight up in the air they go. Very high kicker. Cronulla four, St George, no score. Andrews, third attempt, just outside the quarter. And again, this is starting to become a fairly commanding lead with the thought of Breeze at their back in the second half. Six points to nil. Take any dummies from him there. Carney, well picked up, trudge it. Got a beautiful pass away to Mitch Brennan, and he starts his season with a beautiful try. My word, did he pick that up well? And that is the right winger who's appeared at midfield to score a try. <laughs> How well he picked it up. Watch this again. There's Trudgett. Now watch this pass, it goes low, and he had to pull it in. That's going to look pretty spectacular from head on too, let me tell you. A great wing three-quarter, this fellow, an opportunist, if ever I've seen one. Here it is again. Now, there's Trudgett showing the ball on the outside, weaving and dropping the ball. Oh, well, he did to pick that up. It looked better, even more impressive then, and that great style of running that he has. Very easy free runner. So then, that's bridged the gap at a critical time for St George. One of the new big names, and... Sydney Rugby League. What age is he, Bert? Only 19 years of age. Six foot three and 15 and a half stone. He'll be a big boy when he stops growing, isn't he? Well, that's not a bad uh, start. To put your side in front the first time you touch the ball, virtually. The penalty he got for his side and kicks the goal from the ensuing penalty. St George seven, Cronulla six. A nice introduction to Sydney Rugby League. Glossop at dummy half. Archer, Sorensen, good tackle. Back to Archer. He's well tackled too. Graham Quinn getting through a lot of defence today for the uh, St George side. There's a one-handed pass from Cameron back to Sorensen, the dummy. He still gets a pass away. Glossop. Got it away to Andrews. Andrews gets it nicely with a pivot away to Archer. And Archer over beside the post. Very flash, classy bit of football. I think he made a bit of a monumental meal of that. Come back again. That's the fourth time possessions change hands in this little melee. That's my side. Rogers. try that's vintage Steve Rogers is really the first time he slipped himself today comes away with a bullocking run up the blind side comes McMartin runs into Jansen David Goliath contest that one Andrews back to Khan back to Andrews right at Chamberlain he's got the gap throws it anywhere Edmonds came in from the wing. He's been able to fall on it. And here's Kurt Sorensen coming on now, number 17. I want you to take particular notice of uh, the similarity in looks to he and his brother. I don't know who's coming off. Steve Neen, it looks like. Yeah, Neen goes off. There's so many big men out there now, Rex. Yes, I sympathise with the big fellas. Over 15 stone. Very hard work in this heat. Ready. Backer. 
Oh, a pity of defence there. Only a couple of metres away. They've got to get into this game again. Craig Young charging straight ahead. He's only about a metre away. Nine and a half minutes to go. Stone there. Yes, it's been awarded. Try to rob a stone from dummy half. So then, there's the scoreline. Cronulla 14, St George 10. That may well have been scored on the line too, but our head-on shot is the one that'll show uh, the right perspective of that try. There it is from side on, obscured by uh, Raftery's body, but you can see. Now let's see from head on and see what we can see. It's from this ensuing play of the ball, Robert Stone, number 10. Yes, I'd say right on the line. Short arm jolt. 10 metres out, they've lost three metres in the last three play the balls. Judge it. Finch. Quinn. Yes, Sardini. Charming in at pace. Wide out. St George moving the ball around now. Finch with a little kick through. No, it was grounded first by uh, Greg Purcell. It'll be a line drop out. That's the ruling. That's the ruling. See the little grubber? Little drop punt, really. Purcell quite definitely got his hands to it first. No argument about that. 